Okay, I have these uh, three blocks here. From a set of this, I have just taken these three out. Uh, these three have the same sized uh, flat bottom hole, 1.98 millimeter. And I'll use this, uh, these three blocks and construct a DAC. I'm using a normal beam probe, standard normal beam probe, 4 megahertz, 10 millimeter size. I have uh, the signal from uh, a flat bottom hole of 1.9 millimeter here. Uh, currently with a range of 100 millimeter and uh, as you can see the beam path is 19.4 millimeter I'll just bring it up to about uh, 80 percent or so and then click uh, the record uh, button here that's a record button so the first point is actually recorded I'll move on to the next uh, point here this is the second one Let me correctly maximize this. That's right. So this is the signal. And I'll record this. The second point is recorded. I'll go into the third position. Okay, this generates uh, so much of amplitude only. And I'll record this also. So I have a DAC record. So I have uh, something like uh, uh, 6 dB less, 50% DAC here. And also 12 dB less. Uh, this uh, third DAC also is shown. So you also have a plus 6 and a plus 12 dB DAC is constructed. Okay, now this... Uh, scale uh, this range can be now changed if you want uh, to measure anything else uh, you can also uh, change uh, amplitude for example now if i uh, place it on a similar block having 3.17 millimeter uh, flat bottom hole as you can see here this is 3.17 millimeter so if i place it on this this generates a signal height that's uh, above or it crosses our DAC line here. As you can see here, this is on this block. This produces uh, much higher amplitude. Uh, you can also read that difference there. Let me position this correctly. Okay. Now, on the instrument, it uh, gives you that uh, difference like db to dac value is given which means this signal is about 9.5 db is above your uh, dac uh, this is this can be changed as well you can also increase the amplitude if you want or if you want to increase uh, change the range that's also possible just uh, contract the screen and it changes as well It is uh, very simple to use. The, the settings can be saved in the instrument as a set of file. It can be easily recalled as well. Uh, you also have an option to print if you want. If you want to record this information and provide to your customer, there is a print option here. Just click print and a file will be saved. Thank you.